burnout in engineering isn't real. It's 1.46 in the morning right now. And I've been working pretty hard trying to get a project out. Um, I've been an engineer for about a decade now. And I've noticed something. This word burnout keeps coming up more and more with younger people that are studying engineering or thinking about doing it. And in many ways, it's just something that we tell ourselves in order to make ourselves feel a little better and hide from the truth. The truth really is that you are feeling the effects of being overloaded. So you see this computer screen I got back there, right? The computer can do an individual task very well, whether that's to play a video game or to run a program or have computer-aided design software back there or edit a video. But when you start overloading it with multiple windows open, whether that's on the internet or videos or whatever have you, it starts to overclock. It gets overloaded and that is the exact same thing that's happening with us when we take on too much. And I don't mean just classes if you're in engineering or projects if you're a professional right now in engineering. What I mean is not only in your mental output, but also in your emotional output. So we all have these these things in our pockets now, right? So think about how much time you're spending on there. Think about how many different things you're following, different storylines, different, whether that's sports or Instagram or, or whatever have you, right? You're, you're wasting precious resources in your mind taking part of all of these things. And look, we're all guilty. I'm no saint here. I spent a couple hours a day on my phone doing the same exact thing. It's just important, I think, for us to realize that when we say we're burnt out, it doesn't just mean that I'm burnt out with work. It's just all of these things start flooding the mind and you start playing a comparison game. That's what social media has done. So if you're a Gen Z right now, I feel for you. Even if you're a millennial, I'm a millennial. I feel for you. The Gen Xers and the boomers, they had a different experience. This idea for the video came from a comment that I saw on the previous video that I made. Somebody said that the problem with STEM is that you're most likely going to burn out doing it. And then somebody commented, that's a Gen Z problem. And whether that's a Gen Z problem or not, that's to be determined. However, I do talk to a lot of younger people when I go recruiting. I interview a lot of younger people. And yeah, the burnout thing is a, is a part of it. That's why people now are looking for work-life balance. Look at our, our parents. Look at your parents and your grandparents. Did they ever burn out? I don't know about you, but I don't think so. My grandparents and my parents, and I was also born in Serbia. My mother is Macedonian. And, you know, there they had to work really hard, and they still do, to achieve anything at all. But guess what? They didn't have all these distractions that we have now. That's a big problem with really just society in general. But if you're studying something like engineering or if you're a professional trying to move up in your career, it's a problem. So think about how much time you're devoting, how much energy you're devoting into mindless activities. There's a pretty epic quote. Uh, there's a, a man, I was in the startup space for some time. Let me see, I wrote it in my journal. I'm going to read it to you if that's okay. His name is Naval Aravakant. And there's a really good book. Uh, the quote is, the modern struggle is lone individuals summoning in human willpower, fasting, meditating, and exercising up against armies of scientists and statisticians weaponizing abundant food, screens, and medicine into junk food, clickbait, news, infinite porn, endless games, and addictive drugs. So you see, the more, the more time we give into that, that's where a lot of your, a, a lot of these burnout issues arise. Sorry if I'm slurring my words. It's, it's pretty late. I just kind of had this 
idea click uh, and I wanted to post this video. But that is the resistance, right? That's what prevents you from continuing on with your degree or dropping a class or quitting your job even, right? You have to ask yourself, am I really overloaded? Or um, am I experiencing some emotional burdens that I might be inducing myself, right? So to give you an idea, I've, I've experienced burnout before myself too. Quite a few different times, I would call it that. So it's real in the way that it manifests itself to where you're just so tired and you can't continue going further. But you got to ask yourself, how did it get to this point? How did it get to the point where I can't study anymore for my class? Or how do I get to the point where I can't do my job well anymore? What's what's kind of going on here, right? Do I have to leave my job? You think the solution is going to be for you finding a new job? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But also it might just be some other things that are going on in your life that you got to think about. So that's how burnout manifests. It, it's, it, it's becoming more and more prevalent. And uh, I'm seeing it even just a few comments, like I said, pop up about it. So really, anytime you feel resistance towards performing an action, whether that's, hey, listen, I really want to become an electrical engineer or mechanical engineer, and you're finding it hard to study, well, that's kind of your mind. What does your mind want, right? You want instant gratification, which is what that quote was about. It's all about you finding that quick hit of dopamine, whether that's you scrolling on Instagram and YouTube. I do the same thing. I'm not a saint here. I'm not saying I am. You scrolling on there, clicking on things, watching a video, because you you know you keep telling yourself, I'm not gonna, I, I'm you know this test that's coming up. It's not that I don't want to study today, yeah, or that I'm never gonna study. It's just that I'll do it tomorrow or do it later. But let me just watch this video real quick, or let me let me take a look at this Instagram post or something. And you know, as if you're a young man watching. There are so many distractions in your life, whether that's, you know, things online, certainly, you know, obviously you're most likely trying to get a girlfriend, all of those things too, whether you have a girlfriend, you know, all those things you got to figure out as a young man, it's tough. So all these things lead to distractions and it's easy just to keep scrolling on Instagram down a rabbit hole, seeing all these girls on there or what have you, or other random things. And then you're not actually doing your work. So you're not, you're not reaching your full potential. So anyway, think about the elder people in your life and if they experience burnout. And honestly, I think many of them will say that they absolutely have, but they had no choice. They have to keep going. And you got to keep going. You got to blast through. This can't be the reason why you quit your class or drop your class or drop engineering. Uh, I failed a couple courses when I was starting out, some core ones. I, I'm ashamed to say I failed a circuits class. I'm now an electrical engineer, so I failed the circuits class. I thought about quitting. I, I didn't. I had good mentors in my life that told me not to do that and just to take it again. I was uh, feeling low in confidence and all that, but you know what? I took it again. It made me stronger, right? I had realized I had to become a better student. I had to learn more that had a lot of gaps. So by doing that, when you kind of break through, that's what it is. Nothing easy, nothing worthwhile, such as studying engineering or having a, a great career or finding the right girl or getting in shape, whatever, all these difficult things, none of those things are going to be easy. And they're, they're not supposed to be because you have to kind of break through and become somebody that can accomplish these things, right? That's the point. So if you resonated with any of this, let me know in the comments. I just thought I'd make this video because I'm dead tired. I normally have a lot more energy. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Have a good night.